Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on putting away corn. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and this technique comes from Juanita, my southern grandmother who had her own garden. I'd spend summers with her putting away corn and peas and come in handy for keeping fresh corn way past its prime season. I'll include instructions for both removing kernels and for keeping the entire cob intact. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how she made creamed corn with no cream. Let's call this Juanita style corn. In the blog accompanying this video at jennagedwards.com, you'll find specific directions. Start with shucking the corn and removing as much silk as you can. Wash the cob and then find a large bowl or a shallow tub. Something with low sides is ideal. And now we'll slice off the kernels with a knife. I'm gonna use a serrated knife so I have more control over each slice. There's two ways to cut the kernels. Cut them as close to the cob as possible if you like entire kernels of corn, or the creamed version where we just slice off the very top of the kernel And then with a butter knife, push out the meat and juice of each kernel. It's a little messy, which is why I'm outside, but it's very tasty and it gives you a creamy consistency without using cream. If you want to keep the corn on the cob, bring a large pot of water to a boil and then blanch or boil the entire cob for three minutes and set it in an ice bath to stop the cooking. Then freeze in a Ziploc bag or a storage container. For the kernels that you've cut off, Pour them into a pot and add a little bit of water, no more than a quarter of a cup for four cobs, and bring this to a boil for just a few minutes. We're not looking to fully cook the creamed corn because we'll do that when we're ready to eat it. We just want to cook it enough to freeze it. So we'll let this cool and then freeze it. Now I have an aunt who blanches the entire cob and then cuts off the kernels for freezing. Either way, it achieves the same end result. It's up to you. If you're ready to eat your creamed corn now, add a little more water and a couple tablespoons of butter and simmer your corn until it's the consistency you like. As it cools, it will thicken, but avoid adding too much water or else it'll be more like soup, which is fine too. This is where some cornbread comes in handy. The specific directions are at jennagedwards.com or use the link in the video description below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Putting Away Corn and making Juanita-style creamed corn. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion.